Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about upgrading the sectors and boosting them. Kind of like what you should do, what you shouldn't do, looking at it, um, and just my opinion on that. So, um, the kind of, uh, I guess we'll get start off by giving a big shout out to the commenter of the day, and that's going to be Ambiva. And he was talking about, he or she, I don't know. Uh, was talking about how after since the since the update happened there's been a shortage of gold because everyone is just allowed to attack so much and um, like with the troop subscription if you subscribe to that it seems like a lot of people did um, and now there's a lack of gold because you can just keep attacking 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 and you just eventually un until you run out of gold so for right now I'm thinking the best upgrade to it to be as you can see here on the screen is gonna be either is gonna be the lifewell tribe because of the gold reward um, I think that's probably the best way to go right off the bat. Um, like, if everything was equal and there wasn't this kind of gold shortage going on right now, I would say to upgrade the the Ice Guard and the, the Ice Guard Tribe and the Frost Banner Tribe because it is nice to get a little defensive boost since most people don't have a lot of ice statues. Obviously, if you have a lot of ice statues, then you'll probably want to go the other route and um, and boost up the. The offensive sector so it does depend on your main statues a little bit but that's just my opinion on that guys and um yeah i think the extra gold boost it's not much but i mean nothing here in these sectors is going to give you like a major huge boost plus it's going to change in two weeks anyways so it's not um it's not like a make or break kind of thing like it's always going to be changing there's always going to be different strategies coming out and that's just kind of my early take on this, guys. Um, I'm going with the gold for right now, just because it seems like there's going to be probably somewhat of a gold uh, shortage in the game for a little bit here until people kind of, um, like, un until people drop off, more or less, and, and there, there's less, like, hype or whatever, and there's less people playing and stuff. And maybe after the first month, if people don't renew their, uh, their subscription, actually, I think it renews automatically. Um, that's the whole idea of a subscription chicken. But if people like unsubscribe from that after the first month, they say like, oh, maybe I don't need uh, this many troops. Um, I'm not playing as much as I thought I was um, and things like that. Then maybe it'll it'll drop off and the gold will get rebalanced um, and stuff like that. But either way, guys, either way, that's uh, that's the chicken's take on that. Back, back, back. And um, what were we talking about? The, the troop subscription. So I think this is something that, um, like I said, that most people are doing. And... The only bad thing about it is that it uh, it, it kind of creates a, a gold shortage for everyone. Uh, oh, reload game. Now, does this does this count as an attack? This is going to be interesting because this could screw up um, the entire imitation game for us. Attacks left five. What? Really? They they changed it back? I didn't even know. I didn't even know that. Nobody said anything to me about. Okay, okay, guys. Are we going to be able to do this here? Do I have to scout it first? I'm just hitting attack. And then it... Uh, and then, okay, it doesn't let me in or, uh, at all. So if I hit scout first... Can we hit scout first? Uh, nope, we can't even look at stage 4, I guess, guys. So, I guess that's just for imitation game. But, I mean, imitation game kind of sucks anyway. So, we'll do something else, I guess. Um, we'll take on a couple player bases and just talk a little bit more about these sectors. So... Okay, okay, I guess we're not doing anything then. I guess the whole game is just shut down. Holy jeez, man. Can we attack this guy's base without a client error? Oh my god. Alright, so we're, we finally got in to be able to play the game. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's take out these. Um, let's take out these mines here, guys. Um, let's take out this these mines as well. Hopefully this mortar too can go down. That's going to save us a smoke. Um... But yeah, it seems like, to me anyways, that right off the bat, uh, Dr. Caveman is not going to be as um, overpowered as most people thought, myself included. Um, I think he has the potential when he's maxed out to be really good, especially for um, tank units, grenadiers, stuff like that. Um, but uh, right now, the biggest... The biggest buff in the update is going to go to uh, to Everspark. And not many people have been talking about that because her passive ability is still right now. As of right now, it's still bugged. But once that gets fixed, man, like having uh, 12 critters on the screen is going to be is going to be ridiculous um, with her robot overlord perk. So let's go like this, guys. Let's go one, two, three. Let's get an ice shield going. Let's get some health kits down. And you see the ice shield? 
I mean, it's not the greatest, but it does kind of help a little bit. Let's get one more shot off here, girls. Boom. All right. So it actually did help out quite a bit right there. Kind of the chicken surprise. Um, again, of course, Battle Wars is going to be the better option there. But um, but yeah, I, I guess we'll try Imitation Game again. But I mean, it's kind of looking like it's not working there for us. So, um, so I'm interested to hear what you guys uh, are are upgrading and you're boosting first oh 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 big thing i was told from supercell directly that um once you upgrade the tribe level that that's permanent there's been everyone saying yes and no and it's still subject to change like who, who really knows but from what i was told once you upgrade the the tribe level it stays like that permanently and then it's just the stat that changes like right here like the the heavy health that'll change the gold reward that's what's going to change over the two week period that's the only thing and and also your boost is going to reset because it tells you your boost is going to reset right there it says 10 days six hours left so let's uh let's take on an npc base guys i guess before we wrap this up maybe we'll try an imitation game again um before we uh before we shut down here but definitely let me know in the comments guys what uh what sector you're going with first and why I'm definitely interested to hear that because there's no, like, I could I could uh, sit here all day and say, like, this is the best um, sector to upgrade because of this, the X, Y, and Z, but nobody really knows what the best way to go about doing anything in the update is just yet. Like, it's, it, like I said before, it's going to take a couple weeks for everyone to really figure out uh, the best ways to use Dr. Caveman and stuff. Uh, one of the things I do really like about using him with Zookas is you can see this right here. Uh, we get completely healed up on our way over. So the, the rockets that I hit, um, you can tank, you can you can hit a mine basically if you have a true pell statue, of course, and get away with that a little nicer. So things like that, I, I like really enjoy about the update. Just kind of different things coming uh, into play here. So we got a we'll get a shield on a shield against flamethrowers with Zook is probably not the best strategy, but uh, Doctor Caveman right up here behind the chicken guys. Uh, we'll try to have one more go at imitation game, but. Uh, Hopefully we can get that fixed. Um, hopefully we can get uh, imitation game fixed for you guys at some point. Um, yeah, so it's not going to work, guys. It's not going to work. So that's going to wrap it up for the video today. Like I said, guys, make sure to let me know down in the comments uh, what sector you're upgrading and and or boosting and um, any like reasons you have behind that. Let me know that down in the comments, guys. That's going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. Bye, 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 bye. So just a quick reminder about my Patreon page, guys. Uh, at patreon.com backslash the chicken for $1 a month, you can get your name in the chicken banner for the duration of the month. For $2 a month, you can get your name in the chicken banner and you get to write your own personal message. And this new cool thing that I'm doing, a lot of people have been asking me, a lot of people always ask me how to start their YouTube channel um, and to help them out with it and stuff. So if you pledge me at the YouTube shoutout uh, tier, then what I'm going to do is for every single video that I make, I'm going to give your channel a shout out at, um, in, in, the, in every single video. So what this is going to do is not only is it going to bring an influx of people uh, to see your channel, but it's also going to give um, bring in people that specifically like Supercell content, Boom Beach, Clash Clans, Clash Royale, whatever it may be. Um, so I thought this would be a great idea to just let you guys know that this is available and I think it could really help some people out if, uh, if you're looking to do that. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.